blow it, that's all. No, oh, you'll be perfect. Just watch your tuck and your dismount. I will. Okay, I love you, honey. Love you, too. Break a leg. I hope not. <laughs> Floor exercise. I'm afraid Megan has acute liver failure, brought on by an overdose of acetaminophen. Uh, what do you mean? That's just an over-the-counter painkiller. You can still OD on it. Taking more than recommended dosage, even one time, can cause major damage, especially to the liver. Megan, honey, why were you taking this in the first place? Uh -huh. I might be able to answer that. Megan has two fractured ribs. I'm confused. From the fall? No. No, these aren't from today's accident. The scar tissue indicates this happened at least a week ago. What? Well, I kind of had this thing on the vault a while back. Honey, how could you not tell me? Oh, I didn't think it was a big deal. I didn't want to worry you guys. Okay, okay, but you, you can fix this, right? You can clear this up. We tried acetylcysteine. It's an antidote, but she's not responding to it. Megan's liver is damaged to the point that it is no longer functioning. Um... So what, what do we do now? We're not out of options. We can do a liver transplant. I can get her listed right away. Right it's very likely that one of you could be a live donor for Megan. You mean that I could give her my liver? A part of it, yes. If you're compatible. Well, how would part of a liver be enough? Livers regenerate. They're unique that way. The donated lobe would grow into a full liver for Megan. And your liver would grow back as well. I want to do this, absolutely. Mrs. O'Hara, it is major surgery. I don't care. She's my little girl. Okay. We'll get you tested right away. We'll test both of us. Even better. So, which one of us gets to donate? I'm sorry to say, neither of you is a blood match for Megan. But I thought it was a given that one of us would be compatible. Well, the odds were high, but they're not 100%. It happens sometimes. Um, so what do we do now? We wait. Megan's high on the UNOS list. A liver could come in at any time. I'm gonna get some air. Mrs. O'Hara, if you have any questions or you need to talk about anything, we're here. Thank you. Thank you. Of course. Sure. Excuse me. Yes. I, I'm sorry to bother you. Oh, it's no bother. Come on in. Sit down. Um, when you said there was a chance Steve and I wouldn't be a match for Megan, how big is that chance? 25% normally. Uh, but in your case, you and Steve are O type, and that's recessive, so... Megan would also be type O. What type is she? She's B. God, I'd hoped... I, I mean, I... Steve doesn't know, obviously. Um, and the only reason I'm telling you is because if Steve isn't Megan's biological... I need to find Megan's father. Do you know where he is? It was a long time ago, and Steve and I were having problems. I... I know his name, and that's about it. You need to know, though, he may not be an organ match either. If there is even the slightest chance, I have to try. Okay. To give me his name, and I will use the hospital resources. Let's see if we can find him.
are you feeling? Hasa. Where's Ted? Um. He went for a walk. Is he okay? Yeah, and he's just worried about you. I'm so sorry, Mom. <laughs> this is all my fault. Oh, Meg, you didn't do anything. No, I did. I wanted to be like you. You and Dad. I tried, but it never works. Should we give your husband another five minutes? No, I don't think he's coming. Okay. Uh, Mr. Santos, uh, I understand that Val explained to you the situation. And I just want to say, first of all, that we really do appreciate you coming down here. Sure. And if there are any questions you have about the surgery or anything else, that's why I'm here. Look, I just have a blood type match to me. And I, the nurse said that doesn't necessarily mean that she's... Yeah, I'd just like to ask if you don't mind. I mean, how can we be sure? If it's not Steve, it's you. That, that much I know. Okay. Tell me about the surgery. The operation is about five hours, and you'd be in the hospital for five to seven days after that. Well, how long would I be out of work? About a month full time. And then another two to four weeks part time, depending on your recovery. Risks, side effects? Well, like any surgery, there are risks going under general anesthesia. Uh, stroke, blood clotting, bleeding, infection. But ultimately, you should know that we've had great success with this surgery. Can I tell you about Meg? Val. She's 15. So smart. She's been on the honor roll as long as I can remember. and She's a gymnast. I think I told you that on the phone. And... Val, God, I, you know, I just, I'd really like to help you. This happened before I had my own family, before I was even married. I have three kids now. Carrie's a stay-at-home mom. I'm the only one who works. Jim, please. Look, this is too much. I'm mean, sorry, I, I just, I can't. Jordan? Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. um, I just wanted to thank you. You are so very welcome. You know, I, I kept that secret because I didn't want to hurt my family, but I didn't realize how much damage it was doing. Steve and I are going to tell her when she's had some time to recover. I think that's a good idea, Mrs. Iyer. What is it they say? Um, sunlight is the best disinfectant. Is that what they say? Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy her. <laughs> 